paint with colors And I'll sing until my arms give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in big change is coming into our life. We are closing an era, so we're going to need a new morning routine. We weren't looking for a school, but we went to this graduation party earlier on the summer and that school was really appealing to me with the smaller classes and the way they teach the kids. We decided with the kids that we're going to try it out and if we're going to like it, we're going to keep continue it. If some reason that wouldn't work out, we can still go back to homeschooling. And how is this going to change our morning routine? Well, <laughs> we have to wake up earlier. I mean, at least for the boys, they are going to need an earlier schedule. And mine is going to be take a different direction as well because before I tried to get things done before we sit down to learn. And now is the opposite. I'm, I'm going to try to spend as much time as I can with them and just create a calm, nice morning routine so they can have a more successful day that way. And I will do more cleaning after everybody left to work or school. And to create a calm morning, I had an idea to create like a cafeteria <laughs> style. So I purchased this cute box and that will encourage me to bake some breakfast. Since we are at the beginning of this journey, I'm pretty sure we will adjust this morning routine, but for now, what I'm thinking is trying to get a few things done that can help me the next morning. So that would be the day before I'm trying to bake some bread during the day and bake some muffins. The muffins probably I'm going to bake them at night. And of course, it will depend on what we're going to eat on the given day so if we want to eat muffins i will try to prepare this ahead of the time the main pillar for this morning routine would be make sure the kids are fed <laughs> very well and then I want to have a calm atmosphere at home and make sure the food is packed for them since they have so many food allergies, that's a must. So these will be my focus in the morning. Years ago, I created a routine where as I'm making the breakfast, I'm going to do the dinner slash lunch together. So that will free up some time during the day and I can get things done with one mess. And as I said, I'm not sure if I can <laughs> continue to do this every single day, but a couple of days a week will be a nice help. And even I can make some sausages or if the kids pinch in, they can do some omelets. So it really depends on the given day what we eat, how the schedule will be. But one thing is for sure, I really enjoy filling up this cute storage with muffins.
<laughs> you can see it's really early I can't even see <laughs> which one is the right side of the apron so once I get out of the bed I just quickly brush my teeth and wash my face I'm not going to worry about makeup or anything like that well if we can call it makeup <laughs> usually I just use an eyeliner and just some mascara and I'm just going to start right away in the kitchen when I'm making the lunch for them that they will take to the school, I have to consider if it's easy to eat. They can just grab it and just bite and eat it fast. And also I can put it in the oven in a casserole dish so it's less work for me. <laughs> For next, I am going to putting out all the supplements and usually we don't take that many but we are in a special treatment with acupuncture and muscle testing to help our um, methylation. So we have to clean out our bile and liver and kidney. So we are supporting that. It's a very intense one but we love the results so far. Yeah, they are all the same. Okay. It's a cafeteria. <laughs> Oops. After they are finished with their chores like feeding the chickens and things like that they are packing up for the day you keep me wondering is our love strong just like a love song baby it's on me don't know what you're thinking it's like I'm sinking deep underwater maybe it's harder 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 for me, oh, harder for me Maybe we're over it Or maybe just lovers, cause under the covers Baby, you're showing me How to be fearless, no one can hear us <laughs> After seven years of homeschooling, it is a very strange feeling to have this quiet house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we will adjust to it, but for now it's very weird. Now that everybody left and I did my quick self-care, combing the hair and all the rest, I am going to start to work on the house and the very first thing that I noticed that was very very weird to me that everything that I put somewhere it stayed there 
<laughs> I haven't experienced that <laughs> because either my kids were very very small so there was a constant movement in the house with building a fort and using the cushions from the couch and all sorts of things and then we started to homeschool we used the dining table a lot and we just got things done a lot at home and that created a lot of mess and that was the loveliest mess ever that I had to clean up so no complaints there so it was very weird that something I put back it stayed there <laughs> so it has a silver lining but although I I had to think about them all day how they went by and I was thinking of them a lot and they had a great day Slowly we are getting into the fall season and the fall weather and that's why there's so many orangey tone in the house because we're just going with the feel of this warmth of the orange and this beautiful fall weather. So I'm going to do more decoration and fall related videos pretty soon. It's coming, it's on the way. kitchen reset it's a must in the morning especially with all this cooking but now I'm actually I'm gonna be off duty to make a lunch because it's already done and I just only have to warm it up for myself bathroom is my least favorite thing to clean well right after cleaning the fireplace let's face it that's worse <laughs> so a couple of years ago I decided I'm going to use a car wash brush <laughs> to speed up the process and it's been working really nicely and I just love how fast it can scrub everything Thank you. 
now that the summer is gone i have to um, bring in the outside kitchen that i created <laughs> on the back porch i'm going to bring inside this island and i'm going to have a good use of it indoor although i loved using this outside and i'm pretty sure i will do and expand even more for the next year on the back porch to cook more outside and i just had to clean it up and since we had a couple of drops of rain not much just enough to almost ruin this wooden furniture i put some oil on it and i'm slowly starting to work through the insane amount of tomatoes that all ripening at the same time and i'm thinking to make some ketchup but not today so we're going to have an orthodontist appointment for my other son so after that we might going to do i don't know watch some kind of movie or just spend some time with him and making some soft food so that will fill out the rest of the day For the everyday homemaking that can be very daunting and boring so I like to add a little bit of a decoration here and there just to make it more fun and just change it up a little bit and I'm also into propagating some indoor plants so I'm going to work on that for a little bit. Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Now I'm using an indoor plant, but sometimes I just cut some branches from the outside to have some greenery and decorate the darker corners with that because they are very good staying fresh longer even in darker areas and I find some amazing organic fertilizers at grocery outlets so I'm going to add to this plant I will have a more chatty vlog on the way and if you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe like and share and I will see you soon in the next video Thank you so much for watching until the end. Bye! I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken